And of course, we have a timely one this week, the flu and flu shots. Joining me with all the expert answers today is Dr. Alberto Marcellin, a family practice doctor here at the Chalco Clinic. How are you? I'm doing great. A uh, beautiful here. day here at the Chalco Health it Center. Is. If you've never visited, it's a great facility off 168th and Giles. So before we start, just a quick disclaimer. This is a live chat for informational purposes only. If you have any questions about your health or medical condition, you want to direct those towards your doctor. Or if you need a doctor, we'll hook you up with that information coming up a little bit later in the broadcast. Uh, and remember, if you have any questions about the flu or the flu shot, go ahead and put those in the comment section. I'll do my best to monitor those and get you some answers live. So let's start, we're still early in October. This is kind yep. of the start of flu season. Are we seeing any flu cases in the area yet? Well, it's very early, like you mentioned, in October, but um, according to the latest data on the CDC website, uh, the influence of the flu activity is very low at this point. Um, I think in Nebraska, it's very sporadic cases that we are seeing, but October is still a very, very mm -hmm. important month. Just because we're not seeing a lot of cases, doesn't mean it's not important. October is a time for our patients to come in mm -hmm. where they get their immunizations, get vaccinated so we can get ready mm -hmm. for what is to come for the upcoming flu year. Right, and now is the time to get that shot Correct. so you don't become one of those cases when we start seeing those in a few weeks or, or later yeah. in, in the fall and winter. So who needs to get a flu shot? Who should get vaccinated? Well, technically, anyone from six months and older mm -hmm. should get immunized with the influenza. And you need to get immunized yearly, whether you were immunized last year or not. That shouldn't be a reason for you not to come in again. Um, we always ask for our pediatric patients, anyone from six months to eight years old, to come in early because they get two, they get two shots, mm -hmm. basically. And they have to be separated by four months. So it's very um, important for them to come in early since it takes about two weeks for the first um, shot that you mm. get to protect you from the um, illness. So that way, if they come in early, they get it, they have time, because you wanna make sure you vaccinate them in October mm -hmm. um, to get ready for December and February. That's usually when things come up. So with the kiddos that need the two doses, they get some protection from the first dose, even more from the second. Is that the way that it works? Oh, correct. Um, it, just having a two dose, and that's and to be specific, that's for uh, the patients who are getting it for the very first time. Okay. If you had the flu shot last year, mm -hmm. then you only need one dose, and you are protected. Um, and and the kiddos need it as um, specifically, but also older mm -hmm. adults needs to come in very early also and get vaccinated, especially those with chronic conditions. Right, and your health provider will let you know what your personal circumstances are in that case. You can ask the experts like him. So big myth, a lot of people say, I get sick from the flu shot, I don't feel good. It's, can you explain what happens there? Well, we get that all the time because a lot of patients will come in, they say they don't want to get the um, flu vaccine because they get sick, they get bronchitis, they get other um, illness from it, muscle aches, myalgias. But I mean, everything has the side effects, but honestly, I mean, water is the safest thing. You drink too much water, you're going to pee all night. You're going <laughs> to be up all night. Um, so, but the influenza, it kills, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? And only about less than 10% of patients actually have these side effects. And they're small. If you think about anyone who've had the um, influenza last year or the year prior, they'll let you know that it's nothing. I mean, what you get from getting the flu mm -hmm. shot, the symptoms that you would get is nothing like what you would get from if you actually truly have the disease. Well, and I think flu is a term that people throw around a lot. Sometimes mm -hmm. if people get a stomach bug, they'll say, I have the flu. But the actual flu, influenza A or influenza B, it can be very serious. How serious, very serious is the flu? Yeah, anything that kills is very serious. Mm -hmm. um, so if you get sick, I mean, people get myalgias, malaise, fever, chills, and uh, you can't get out of bed, you can't go to work, you're losing money, your employer's losing money, mm -hmm. and it's costing the whole state a lot of money. So it's a very serious condition. A lot of people die from the flu. I think a couple of years ago, we had almost about, what, 700,000 people died, uh, I'm sorry, hospitalized from the mm -hmm. illness, and about 80,000. That's thousands of people that died. And some of the um, patients that died were kids, and kids that did not get their immunization. So these are things that we could have prevent. I mean, all the patients mm -hmm. died too. We want to prevent that. And that's why we ask these patients, sure. come in, go to your local providers, your grocery store, um, your job, even you can get that um, flu shot. Because they don't want you to miss work either. We do not, no. Mm -hmm. I do not want to get sick. I want to come here. Right, you don't want to get sick. And we talk about those um, most fragile populations, yep. the young people, the elderly. And a lot of people say, well, I don't want to get a shot. I don't get sick. But they have to realize that if they have people in their life that are 
children that are elderly right. that are maybe immunocompromised, it's important to get the shot to protect those people. Can you elaborate that's, a little bit on that? That's right, because when you get the influenza immunizations, you're not just protecting yourself, you're mm -hmm. protecting everyone around you. That's the elderly, 65 and above, above, who are at risk of a lot of complications from the disease. Mm -hmm. That's your kiddos that were just born, especially those pregnant mo uh, mothers. Because yeah. um, think about it, you, like we said earlier, six months and above. So what do you do if you earlier than six months, two weeks old yeah. infants. I mean, they need some type of protection, so they depend on their mom to come in and get vaccinated. Um, vaccination is the key, it's the first uh, method of defense for the illness. What can people expect if they, maybe they're like, you know what, I haven't gotten a flu shot before, but, but this year I want to do it. What can people expect from what it actually feels like, what the experience is like? It's a small poke. <laughs> it truly is. We got some of the best nurses like you will experience mm -hmm. later. And um, we'll come in, we'll make you at ease, we'll answer all your, we'll, we'll answer all your questions and make sure you feel at ease. And um, if you do come in, you get the flu shot, you're protected. You're protecting yourself, you're protecting the loved ones. So expect to feel great after that. It's a good deed, not just for you, but for the other people. Monica is standing by to give me my flu shot. I'm gonna say how easy it is, but I have one more question before that, because I sure. know a lot of people are experiencing all sorts of symptoms this time of year. There's sinus infections going around, there's colds. In general, what advice do you have for people on knowing when you need to come see a doctor? Sure, so it's very difficult to differentiate between influenza illness and like a uh, regular cold symptoms because I mean the symptoms are very similar you get fever you get muscle aches you get tired uh, the best thing to do is to come in mm -hmm. um, around this time of the year most most patients will be um, having symptoms that's more similar to the flu because mm -hmm. the big difference you could say is when you start feeling very tired like the severe muscle aches and myalgias mm -hmm. that's something you see a lot in patients who are um, suffering from the flu versus just an upper respiratory infection. But you still get the common symptoms, runny nose, um, congested, mm -hmm. people feel con congestion all the time. So you get the common symptoms, but the flu is much more severe. Best thing to do is if you think you are exposed, if you think you're at risk, come in to see a doctor. You will get tested and get treated. All right, let's bring Monica in. Bring I'm gonna Monica roll my in. sleeve up. I wore my short sleeves today. I've already filled out my form in advance and I haven't had a reaction before. I'm not allergic to eggs or latex. So we'll go ahead and get this over with. I do feel well today, actually. So it doesn't take that much, it does just a not. second of yeah, your time. Right. And she's really good at it. I'm not gonna look. Yeah. Um, one more question for you, because you give kiddos shots a lot. Yep. Any advice? Oh, that wasn't bad at all. That's not. Um, for parents for preparing their kids to get shots. Right, so that depends on the type of children that you have. I prefer if you come in, tell your patients what's gonna, uh, tell your um, kiddos what's gonna yes. happen. And then by the time I come in, then what I'll do is just answer their questions. And usually they wanna know, does it hurt? How will I feel about mm -hmm. it? Um, and do they get a treat after that? Um, but if you can't, because some kiddos you don't want to tell them, some patients you just want to come in, bring them in, and then we'll do that in the um, clinic visit mm -hmm. itself. But just prepare them if you can. Just tell them the truth, what's going to happen, and ice cream take it from there. is always a legitimate yes. bribe. We're going for ice cream now because I got yes, my flu shot, we right? Are. Great. Um, yeah, if favorite. you have any more questions the rest of this afternoon regarding the flu shot, go ahead and post them and we can uh, consult one of our experts, even though we're wrapping up this live discussion to get you some answers. So any final closing thoughts? Um, it's, the, it's the flu season all over it again. I mean, we do it every year. Hundreds of thousands of people are going to get sick today and thousands of them will be dying. Come in, get you a flu shot. Um, even if you don't think you need it, just protect the family, the friends around you, the older patients. Um, help us make this a good year.